Good morning. Good morning. What time is it? It's like 6.20 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting an early start because this is going to be a very long day. This is our final day on the bike. We're going back to Hanoi. Google says it's going to be a five hour ride, which realistically means it's going to be up to 10 hours. Anyways, we're at Bombay Lake. We stayed here last night. We're probably going to tour, right? Yeah. yeah. Last time you saw us, we were in Baolak, I think. And then we, the other day we drove, like, it took us like six hours to get here, and we just kind of just drove straight. But then we had the intention of being in, um, where are we? Bape. Ah, Bape, for a couple days to like, go on the lake and everything, but it has been raining, like, like, seriously, like, pouring for like two days straight. <laughs> I feel like every time we're on the bike, it's like been nice, but at the moment we stop, it's been pouring, which has been really unlucky. So we are the only group staying here. So we have this entire, it's like five stories, this entire homestay to ourselves. So welcome to our room. You can't feel it, but it's very nicely air conditioned. <laughs> and yeah, everybody. It's pretty simple, but it's been so nice, and it was nine dollars a night. And then the people here are really sweet, and they've been cooking breakfast and dinner and coffee. It's been really nice. There's and a balcony. I was good in there. <laughs> this is the balcony where we, when it was raining, we worked right here for a little bit. And it was actually really nice and peaceful. So this is the town here on the side of Babe. You can see the lake over there. It is absolutely gorgeous. I gotta say, every time that it's rained here in Vietnam, mm -hmm. for the most part, aside from a couple days, we have not been on the bikes, <laughs> and we've been in an absolutely beautiful homestay to just sit and watch the rain. So, while it has rained a lot, it's always been good timing. Yeah, for the for most sure. part. Yeah. Did we just jinx ourselves the last day? It's gonna be like pouring the entire day. Uh, yeah, I hope not. And then coffee because today is going to be a very long day. How are you feeling about this being the last day, Dad? Oh, it's way too short. Way too short. We got a long day, day back to Hanoi. Um, probably we'll be on the bikes for almost eight hours. And, um, it's bittersweet. Bittersweet. So this is the town of Babe, and it's actually really small. And it seems like since it's off season, they're taking the time to construct a lot. So there's a ton of construction going around, and a lot of these homestays are being like remodeled and stuff. Okay. And there's like nobody here, which is kind of nice. It was super quiet and peaceful the last couple of days. And we all agreed that since today is gonna be so long that uh, we're going to stop at the first nice coffee shop that we see. So I think that we might be stopping in the next few minutes. <laughs> and yeah, I think we're all just kind of procrastinating a little bit because we're all kind of tired for the last couple of weeks and just the knowledge of how long and tedious this day is going to be is making us want to uh, stay in this really nice peaceful place for as long as possible. I kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah, it started really fast. Uh, oh no. What's wrong? I just melted part of my rain jacket onto the muffler. Oh no. Sorry. Right. What part? Just the hood. Do you want to switch? No, 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 no. It didn't do anything bad. Yay! <laughs> this is, might be the rest of the day. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. 
My feet are already so wet. For 10 minutes. All right, that was fun. Make sure T and my dad made it. Hey! That guy in the car said good job. Oh, nice. Wow, I'm so pissed. That was fun. Oh, you didn't put your feet up? No. Uh, you want to take a rain jacket off? Yeah, that was so much fun. You think that guy back there with the tow truck, he, he yeah. got uh, water in his engine? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Hey guys, I have excellent news. We've shaved two minutes off of our estimated arrival time. Ooh. We're flying today. Yeah. We just had to stop on the other side of this river. We wanted to take off our rain gear because it was getting kind of muggy and hot and finally it stopped raining. So it, because this river is actually, it's genuinely really deep. When you're like walking across it, it goes up to some of these people's knees. And we're just sitting here and there are people going around it backwards. There's people going, like walking their bikes across and a smaller car crossed. And I think you were saying his engine, he got water in his engine. That's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. he was stopped by the, uh, he had a tow truck. Yeah, he had a tow truck and they had a, yeah. So the fact that we saw it and we went straight through it without like a second thought was either the, the bravest thing or the dumbest thing we've done on this trip. torn right now you know the feeling after the end of a vacation where you're like like the last few days when you're kind of excited to go back home and relax and rest but at the same time you're really sad that it's over i think that's the exact feeling that i'm having right now where i'm really really stoked to go back to hanoi and not be on the bike and have dry clothes and stuff like that but also at the same time there's just been something so amazing about getting on the bike every day and you know, seeing new things and being challenged a lot and just the, how much work it is to be on the bike all day, every day for a couple weeks straight. It's just, it's both an amazing thing and an exhausting thing and I'm really going to miss it. How was it, love? Really good. I First meal of the day. So hungry. Getting a little grumpy. Very good. We're halfway there. We're only halfway. We did 100. We're gonna do 120 miles today. We have 63 left. So technically, we're, we're, <laughs> we're less than halfway. We're making really good time though. Final stretch, last two and a half hours of this whole thing. It's a little sad, but also I can't wait to get to the hotel. <laughs> you ready, gang? Yeah. Uh, there's a minivan coming at murderous yeah, speeds. Man. I'm gonna wait for him. Okay, let's go. So the first half this morning, we spent a lot of time on kind of back country roads. They're in beautiful condition. It was awesome. 
the second half of the trip, we're on a QL road. And in Vietnam, that usually means there's a lot more trucks. It's kind of suburbia, nonstop, a lot more traffic hazards. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Driving into Hanoi and Saigon and the big cities in Vietnam are always kind of nerve wracking. First off, I revise, okay. As you can see, we are in the hospital. Um, man, my hands are so, so I got so much adrenaline going. Just to recap, we were going through an intersection and we had the right away, and then a guy came and cut Chivio off, and Chivio tried stopping, and the motorbike ended up skidding, and then he fell with the bike and skidded into the other guy, and they both fell. Um, nothing's broken, they're both okay, um, but Chivio did skin his elbow to the muscle. Uh, yeah. The guy we actually hit took us to the hospital, so. Thank you. Thank you. It's stitched up pretty good. Did they say it was beautiful? Is that as beautiful as not beautiful, but it's pretty good. And this is where Chavio and that guy got an accident, and someone else got an accident, and then two cars over there got an accident. This is a gnarly intersection, I swear. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. So to recap for for everyone, because that was incredibly chaotic. This intersection that's right here. We're, everyone around us is telling us incredibly dangerous. There's police hanging out there because just by because just because how many people get an accident around there, and just from when we were sitting that sitting there at the the, the restaurant in the corner, we saw two different accidents. So <laughs> it's just absolutely nuts. Just is like people coming from every which way. Um, but thankfully this time, the police were super nice and helpful. They stopped traffic, they helped get the bikes up, they led us to the side, and the guy that hit us, or sorry, the guy that hit Chavio, was actually really sweet. He was so, so uh, remorseful, he kept apologizing. He drove Chavio and I to the hospital, helped us get, you know, talk to the doctors and get medicine and all that stuff. And it paid, he paid for everything. It was absolutely amazing. He was just so kind. Um, we did try to pay him, but he wouldn't hear anything about it. Uh, I am incredibly rattled. So rattled right now. Um, about an hour and a half left, on, according to Google, all the way back to Hanoi. And Chibi was taking up the rear now. He got two different lines of stitches, and they did not give him anesthetic. They just like gave him on Google Translate, telling him it's going to hurt and to be strong. And then they sewed him up, and he just he took it and was making jokes with me the entire time. God, he's such an idiot. <laughs> it's bad that he's emotional on the bike. I'm just glad he's okay. <sighs> I know this is like this is just one of the risks, and we knew we knew the the risks of driving around here, and it could have been a lot worse. So I'm really proud of Chavio. He was dealing all, with all of that while also, you know, consoling me and Jason because we were, like, out of our minds with worry and, and stuff. And he just handled it like a champ. I'm so proud of him. And then we're like, let's get a hotel here. And he's like, no, I really want to sit in a nice hotel in Hanoi. <laughs> so he's riding with no medicine, no anesthetic, and two lines of stitches on his elbow. He's just... Oh, he's such an idiot, but I love him. The goal now is to make it to Hondo and we're definitely going like half speed. I just want to take a second to note the kind, the absolute kindness of literally everyone else around us. The lady whose restaurant we had to park in, she kept bringing water and 
was trying to help translate and get us what we needed and the guy who caused the accident was really nice and concerning or concerned about the whole thing and he was actually a doctor and his wife was a nurse so they knew what to do and where to take us they didn't you know perform the thing but they knew where to take us and everyone just made sure that we were well taken care of it was really sweet Hanoi City Center seems pretty small when you're in it, but man, does the outskirts of the city just stretch on forever. It's just, we're going to be in this for the next couple hours, and I just, just want to be back at the hotel. I wanna... <laughs> man, every time I turn the camera, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Shouldn't. There's kids watching our videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, did you explain what, what, uh, I don't know. It was, I was kind of an emotional mess when it happened. So, you can, can you give your point of the story? <laughs> your point of view? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I, I understand the video probably fell apart after that happened. So, I was going through an intersection and a guy appeared in front of me. I slammed on the brake, obviously, but I slid into him. And uh, yeah, my whole elbow here kind of caught the brunt of it, so it was, it was a couple inches long there, it's a gash. It's not that big of a deal. It was really... But what's crazy is that a cop came out of nowhere, and he started yelling at the guy that I hit. And then the guy that I hit, I guess the cop arbitrates whose fault it was right there, but the guy that I hit um, paid for my prescriptions and the stitches and everything. I want to know how many stitches I got, I couldn't tell. Will you count when we... Yeah. We're going to dress, like, put a new bandage on and do it. <laughs> but he paid for everything. We didn't... We tried to pay, but he really, really felt bad. He, he just kept saying how sorry he was. So, yeah. It was, a, it was statistically inevitable for this to happen. Yeah. It... Everybody, you know, I think I was reading this, the accident rates in Vietnam. 60% of Vietnamese people get into a motorcycle accident every single year. But you know, that we, we came here and we knew the risks. Yeah, so, calculated risk. <laughs> yes, calculated, and you know, I got into a little bit of an accident, but thankfully it was really just a scratch at the end of the day. And um, I think we're gonna go have some beers and meet up with dad and change this bandage. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you guys know how many stitches there were. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. What a cool transition that was. <laughs> we counted the stitches. There's six. I don't want to gross anyone out, but it's very similar to what you would see a pork roast look like. Okay, okay. Kids watch the videos. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, Dad, actually, we were looking at some of the footage, and Dad caught it on... Uh, yeah, it was my camera was in hyper lapse mode, but I'll I'll slow it down so you can kind of see the gist of it. Yeah. 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 So as if you need another reminder to go watch Dad's videos. <laughs> but honestly, um, it's not that bad. It was a pretty good day. Yeah, pretty good adventure overall. Yeah, I feel yeah. like this was inevitable that yeah. someone's going to lay the bike down. So. Yeah. So um, you almost. Got off scot free. See you later, bike down a couple times. I got a third degree burn in Singapore when that, not Singapore, excuse me. Oh, uh, the muffler. Yeah, in Thailand. In, in Thailand. Yeah. And the bugs attacked me as usual. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so Chip was like this close to the finish line. And, yeah, uh, I know. Doctor took him out. <laughs> Besides his stitches, he's okay. Yes, I'm good. So, yes, stuff happens motorcycling, but you know, he's okay. Yeah. Yep. Overall, amazing adventure, you guys. Cheers again. Cheers. All right, you guys. We're going to eat dinner and enjoy beer. I think we earned it. Mm -hmm.
thanks for coming with us today, and we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! <laughs>